Greetings from Developer Minify. In this video, I am going to talk about customized options of Developer Minify plugin. Before enabling this Minify UI option panel, I would like to talk about other option which is available inside this customized panel. So let's talk about admin favicon. Maybe you want to add different type of favicon on backend and frontend of your website. So if you like to change your backend favicon, then use this admin favicon option. Just click on this add new favicon. Select a rounded logo, then select the logo and press Command S. Now, if I reload, you can see the favicon is changed. Then let's talk about this Gutenberg editor logo. Just click on this add editor logo, and also I would like to recommend you use a rounded logo. Then select and set the settings. Now, if I navigate to post and add a new post here you can see the logo is changed then let's talk about this light and dark switcher you can see in this admin bar there is a light and dark mode switcher if i click on this dark it turns dark if i click on this light my dashboard is on light mode so to hide this dark and light switcher you can use this option just save the setting or press command dash now if I reload, it's gone. Now let's talk about post status background color. To explain this, I need to navigate on post, then all post. As you can see, I have one single article published. So to change the published background color, just click on this color picker, then select any color you prefer. Then click on the save setting button. Now come to post. Now if I reload, you can see the background color is changed. If I turn this publish post into draft, you will see it automatically cancelled. You can see there is no background color as it's on draft mode. Now if I navigate to the settings and select draft background color like this and save the settings. Now if I reload, you can see the color is changed. So this is how the post status background color works. So now, if you like to reset everything, whatever you have done in this section, just click on this reset section and OK. Everything will be resetted to the default mode. Then press Command S. Otherwise, it will not set. Now, if I reload, you will notice the favicon will be gone. Everything will be gone, whatever I have done. Now, I would like to introduce you the Adminify UI, which is one of the most unique feature by Develop Adminify plugin on this customized option panel. So if I enable this Adminify UI, you will see some pre-built UI template, then custom background, then body font. These three options will be appeared after enabling Adminify UI. Now set the settings. If I reload, you can see the dashboard is changed automatically. So this is the Adminify UI template. By default, this UI template is selected, but you can switch to different UI template by clicking on each and every preset that we have built for you. Not only this, but also we have a color picker. You can select this color picker and change the body background to anything. And you can see its effect instantly. To change the primary color, just select on this color picker and change. You can see the primary color is changing. This is how the custom color preset by Adminify UI templates work. After finishing your touch, you can just press Command S or save the settings button. Now if I reload, you can see my body color and primary color is changed, but all of this color is still default as I have changed all of this color. So let's stay with the default UI and save the settings. And now let's enable custom background. To enable custom background, you must click on this switcher. And if you enable this switcher, you will see gradient and image. So let's stay with the default gradient and press Command S. Now if I reload, you can see the gradient color is impact on my dashboard background. And now let's navigate to image and upload IMS. I have already uploaded image, just selecting this one and save the settings. Now if I reload, as you can see, the image took place instead of gradient. Now we have our last option called body font. 
if you want a personalized look on your dashboard and get rid of default font just use this option just click on this select a font and search for your font and set the settings now if i reload you can see each and every font is changed let's navigate to dashboard and you can see the dashboard widget and welcome widget all fonts are changed to ubuntu so that's all about develop admin 5 customize option uh, in the next video we'll talk about admin menu customization